Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Outdoorsman One video. Today we're going to be talking about the Quattro by Mid-Atlantic Off-Roading LLC. Uh, they're a really cool company. I won a giveaway on Instagram and I figured I would give these guys a shout out because it's a really awesome product that I've been actually anticipating purchasing and so I'm really excited to have won this in a giveaway through Instagram, through Rav4Babe. Um, super awesome girl you should go drop her a follow as well. But today we're gonna to be unboxing this, uh, the Quattro. So before we dive into the Quattro, again, I'm gonna plug my Velcro patches. They are PVC. They are the finest in hand etched uh, PVC patches to support what I'm doing here and to support the page and channel and, and whatnot. If you guys are watching this on Instagram, make sure to reshare this. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to thumbs up the video and share it as well with your friends. So when they have questions about this awesome product, they'll know where to get their information from. Anyways, guys, so we're gonna dive into the Quattro. It's uh, already came out of the box, but it comes with this little card. On the back, it gives you all of the instructions, how to deflate, how to inflate, how to set up your Quattro. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what the Quattro is, effectively, it's just a prefabbed out set of air hoses so that you can hook onto your onboard air and distribute air to all of your tires evenly, and you don't have to run a hose to each one of your tires all the way around your vehicle. I have a very custom air rig, as you guys will see, but uh, it, as long as you have either a ARB, they have a mount or a connector specifically for your ARB twin or the single, and as well, they have just the one that goes to a regular compressor chuck, which is what I'm running. So without further ado, again, you've got this card, really nice signed by the owner really awesome company they reached out to me on instagram also you get their little quattro sticker awesome support small business guys okay so it comes in this nifty bag which is really nice to keep everything organized you know when you're out on the trail and you go to air up or air down um, and you pull this thing out, you know, it might be muddy, it might be rainy, it might be snowy, so it's nice that you can throw everything back in here and throw it in the bed of your truck, throw it in your lock boxes, throw it in the uh, back of your truck, and you're not gonna get anything dirty. I like that, because this is gonna lay on the ground. So, um, first thing you see is the stuff in the middle. So, I've already opened everything, but this is kind of my unofficial unboxing here. So, everything does come nice and padded. You've got your air gauge, which goes up to 100 PSI. That should be sufficient. And then you've got the splitter, okay? So you've got effectively three different air chucks and then your, uh, your male. So three females and one male, and then you've got the valve on there. So if you're gonna put that guy on there, set that aside. Then you don't have anything else in here except for the Quattro itself. So, all right guys, so you've got one side and you've got another side. And each side is effectively the exact same. So you've got two of these little, uh, two of these little setups that are going to go onto your Schrader valve on your tire. You're just gonna pop these guys on there and open the valve, right? Uh, well, open would be this way. You're gonna open the valve to allow air through. Everything is a quarter inch, so make sure whatever, if you're running a custom air setup, that it can uh, sustain up to quarter inch air flow. And then you've got another male. So this male is going to go here, and then those are gonna go to one side of your vehicle and then effectively vice versa. You've got the other side. It's gonna to go to the other side of your vehicle and boom. And then it's just got this little hook on there because you, you, know, you can hang it on your bumper or wherever. And the nice thing with this is you don't have to run around to each tire. 
you just set one side up on your two tires, you set the other side up on your two tires, you open all the valves, you can deflate everything to the same air pressure, you can raise everything to the same air pressure. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use this for deflating, because uh, I just have the little preset plugs that I can screw onto my uh, bleeder valves and just dump all the air relatively accurately. Then I just go around and check. Um, not really sure if I'm gonna use this, like I said, to deflate, but definitely to inflate, this is gonna be a game changer. You know, I'm not gonna to have to run around with my slinky uh, hose to each one and sit there and pull the trigger on my Husky, you know, air, um, air device to, to put air into it. So I can just let this go, you know, five minutes before I get to the end of the trail, I flip the switch on my air compressor to start filling the tank, just pop this, uh, this guy right here into the hose, bada bing, bada boom, dump the dump the valve, well, it would be this way, and uh, allow the air to start filling all of my tires. And like I said, the air pressure is going to equalize because of this system. So you're not gonna have one tire at 36 PSI and one at 34, and then the others at 35. You know, they're all going to be almost exact just because of the way that this, this valve is. So you know, once it gets to your desired air pressure, uh, my new Nittos, I'm running at like 38 PSI on the road. Now that's getting to be, you know, snow on the road all the time, I'm going back down to about 35, 34 PSI. But during the summer, I ride about 38 PSI usually. Um, that's kind of where I get the best gas mileage. So that's really nice that I can, you know, I could just take a Sharpie and once that little ticker gets right there to, to 38 PSI, I know I can turn the valve off, turn my compressor off, and all of my tires are equalized. So now we're gonna go out on the trail and I'm gonna show you how this is used.
right, so you can see that now I've got the Quattro set up all the way. I'm running the airline that way and I'm running the airline this way. I was running the compressor, made sure all the fittings worked and whatnot. And uh, everything seems to be really intuitive. Now you can see I've got the air chuck there and I showed you I had the air chuck down there. The air chuck down on the bottom was the one that I used primarily for airing up and airing down. And then that one in there is the one that I would run into my water port, which is not there because it doesn't get above 30 degrees during the day. So it would freeze and stay frozen. Now, that being said, um, I'm not running it off of that air chuck down there on the bottom because I busted it off in Moab, tried to hit something, uh, a forerunner, or you needed the approach angles and departure angles of a forerunner for, and uh, well, I busted it. So we're running it off of there. Now let me show you the system that I kind of had set up before. Okay, so this is the system that I had set up before where I had this slinky hose that I had to run around to each different tire, hit the trigger and hold it there. And then I could either air it up or air it down with that but I had to you know, manually sit there and, and do each one and it took 20, 25 minutes. Whereas this, just kind of set it and forget it. So the reason that I don't really run my air uh, to my tires off of this guy is because I've got a regulator on this and I've got it turned down so that the air pressure that goes into my uh, water port that would usually be right here isn't above 50 PSI because that's what the, the uh, the water port will take. So this isn't the best setup for this. Obviously, a more accessible uh, is going to need to be fixed uh, now that I have this system where I can just plug and play. But let me show you kind of the features here. You kind of just turn that valve. This would be in the off position. You turn this valve. Uh, obviously, I bled all the air out. You turn that valve. You're going to see this spike up and then it's going to start climbing as uh, your air is coming out of your air tank and uh, run into your tires. guys so this has been my kind of initial video on the mid-atlantic uh, off-roading llc quattro air down air up tool um, the air hoses and all the fittings it's really intuitive super easy to set up it's really easy with the card that they give you to understand what you need to do so again i'd like to thank those guys as well rap 4 babe for uh hooking us up with the giveaway i hope that this has been kind of uh, the information that you guys need to get yourself out there and uh, set yourself up for uh, airing down and airing back up. Obviously airing down you're going to get a lot more grip on the road and also you're going to be able to have a much smoother ride with a really cheap suspension even with a stock suspension if you're aired down it's going to be so much smoother so i hope this guys uh i hope this has helped you guys out and uh remember be good be dangerous be ready we'll see you on the next one guys Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Since you watched the whole thing, why don't you click that button right there that says subscribe. I kind of do a lot of stuff like this. And uh, check me out on Instagram for daily content. You know, it's not like you clicked out of the video. Remember, be good, be dangerous, be ready. And we'll see you on the trail. Oh shoot, I needed the Pam. <laughs>